Hi, it's Cassie from MM Spark. I'm just going to show you how to create a blog post on your website. So, whichever website you are on, you always need to start with your domain and then forward slash WP admin. Now, if you've already logged in, you'll go straight into your dashboard as I have here. If not, you'll get the login screen. You'll need to log in with your WordPress admin, not your hosting account, your WordPress admin. And you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks a bit like this. And what you need to do is come down here to post because if you're creating a blog post, it's not on a page, it's a post. <laughs> so you need to go to posts and add new. And here's where you add a new post. So let's call this one blogging for the new century. I don't know why I'm calling it this, it's completely random, just as an example. So there's your title, that's your blog title, that's going to appear actually on your blog page. Now here you've got your editing screen for your blog and this is just like a typical word processor. So just if you're used to Word or any sort of word processing package, this is very similar. So let me just give a few examples. So if I say this is the first line of your blog, this is a testimonial, here's an image. I'm just trying to think of all the things that you might want to do on a blog post. So I'm just typing in, as you can see, it's a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get, typical sort of word editor. Now what I'm going to do for this first line, whatever you want to do within WordPress, same as with Word, you just need to highlight the text and you can change this. So I could make this into a heading. I can then center it. I can put it into red. So as you can see, whatever I'm doing is happening sort of in real time. Now I haven't published this yet, so I've still got a publish button here. So I can merrily edit my blog and make it look really nice. I would always save draft, but that still isn't published. That's, still, that's a draft. Now let's say for example that you want to, if you've got testimonials or a piece of text that you really want to stand out from the rest of the blog, there's a handy little feature in WordPress called Block Quote and if you click on it, your um, text will be put into a blog quote, for example with a testimonial. Now I'm going to add an image, so what you do is you put the cursor where you want the image to appear, so I'm going to put an image on this line here and you go to add media. Now if you've already got images uploaded, you'll see them in your media center. You don't need to re-upload them. That will just take up more space and you don't want to do that. So let's, for example, let's pick an image that we've already used. If, let's use this one. Actually no, let's use, let's use the cranes. If you want to upload a picture, then you would go back to add media and you would go to upload files and upload those from your desktop or wherever they're stored. So, so you only ever need to do that once. Now I've uploaded an image but I don't want it in the centre of the page so if I just click on it once you'll see a little some editing tools come in within the post. So I'm going to click on the little pencil and I'm going to move it to the right and I can change the size so I can make it into a thumbnail medium or full size. Now if the full sized image had been 1200 pixels then that would be an option here and that would fill the whole width of the screen. So you can't make it bigger than the image you upload but you can make it smaller. So I'm going to leave it as a uh, medium sized. If you want to link, if you want the image to be, to be to link, so for example if you had an image that says click here to go to my store or click here to link to another blog post, you put the link in here. I'm just going to click on update and as you can see that's moved that across to the right now. Now I'm going to show you how to add a link, a hyperlink. So that means that when someone looks at your blog post they'll be able to click on the link and go through to wherever you're linking them to. So let's, um, let's add a link here. Again what you do is to highlight the text that you want to link and you come here to the little chain link um, button up here. 
And what you have to remember is to put the HTTP. So if I wanted to put a link to my blog, for example, I'd put HTTP forward slash, uh, sorry, colon forward slash forward slash mmspark.com forward slash blog. And you can change your link text. So if I didn't want you to say, let's add a link here, <laughs> you probably want to say, um, click here for my blog or something a bit more snappy and compelling. And I would always tick this box here to open it in a new window. Click on add tab and there we are. Now I'm not actually going to save this because we don't want this to be published, but I would save it as a draft. In fact, that's what I'm going to do is save it as a draft. And when you are, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. When you are ready, you just need to click on publish <coughs> and then this blog post will, will go live. So just having a look at the dashboard, there's lots of different things you can do, but as well as adding an image, you can bold, you can add bullet points or lists. Um, you can right, left, centre, justify. Um, you can in, you can put it in insert read more. That's if you've got a very long blog post and you just want people to see the first few lines and then you get the little dotted line that said says read more. So that's the way where you to if you've got a lot of text you can organise it quite nicely with that. There's the toolbar. Um, you can change the text colour. I think I showed you that, so I could make that green, for example. And here's the undo button. This is quite an important button if you're new to WordPress. Um, either just don't save what you do if you haven't published it, or you can use the undo button. So if you've done something wrong and you think, oh, I didn't want it in green, you just click the undo button and we've gone back to black. So no need to panic, have a bit of fun with it, and um, happy blogging. Just going to show you, you can view the post. So this is what it looks like. And now you can have a play around with it and um, see how it's going to look. So there's my title there. There's my first line that I've made as a headline and put it into red. Here's the block quote here. Um, here's how to add an image that's still in green so I didn't, hadn't saved it. Here's the hyperlink. So if you see here, you can see I'm scrolling over and it's changing colour that that will actually link through to my blog and there's the image and so if you wanted to you could add a link to that image as well if you want your image to lead people elsewhere. Alright well I hope that's been helpful and happy blogging. <laughs>